Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on KNDR, Kender Energy Incorporated. As you can see by looking at the chart, and more specifically down here, very nice volume day to day. And on top of that, you had correspondingly good price action. Um, for you, those of you that watch my videos, you've heard me say this a million times, but one of the best correlations and relationships within the world of technical analysis is when you have above average volume and price action that reacts accordingly. Uh, there's nothing worse and nothing more disappointing than when you see a big volume bar. However, you see the price either trickling down or going sideways. Um, but that was not the case today. Um, we had the price reacting um, accordingly. So this just shows from a psychological standpoint that bulls were coming in, people were feeling bullish about the stock, wanted it, and at the same time, uh, it was breathing, it was going up, and it was just a win-win for everybody um, today. I'm going to go over the chart and kind of outline some supports, resistances, and uh, price targets and so forth. Uh, that way, uh, those of you that are unfamiliar with charting uh, can kind of know what to look for from this perspective. And then uh, those of you that do use charts just give you a secondary opinion on things. So first, let's just start off with um, the 15 minute chart here the thing that I wanted to show is this 50 period simple moving average since about the 13th of August you can see um, the price has really started to uptrend nicely now today is where the majority of the volume came in however the price has already begun uh, to go nicely upwards we had a nice pullback and you can actually see this pullback A little bit nicer here on the 30 minute and the thing that I want to show you on the 30 minute and this will also correspond with the daily is look what happened when the price got near its 50 period simple moving average which is a, a big psychological support the price pulled back here yesterday and found support right here and then today you can see the aftermath it bounced off it beautifully just you know that's a textbook move right there and then hopping to the daily same thing you can see that the price came down and look what happened right when it got around this 50 period simple moving average bounced up very nicely today um, so one of those things where you can't complain when you see a chart um, acting like it should if it has true strength and if it, this thing did have true strength um, after this pullback yesterday which was healthy for the chart by the way um, but on this pullback You'd expect it to bounce and bounce it did and it bounced um, very nicely today uh, but the other good thing is um, because we had this pullback day um, so let's let's uh, pretend that we didn't have this pullback day and let's say this candle was green and then this candle was on top of here and then we closed way up here that would have meant that the chart was way overextended however because we got this pullback day yesterday it's given the chart the ability to breathe take a little rest and now today um, makes the chart much better because it's not you know insanely overextended or anything like that so uh, despite red days this is a good example of why pullbacks are important and are healthy uh, for the overall trend and overall stock price because it does allow um, profit takers to get out people to come back in and then if the stocks truly bullish you know the price will take care of itself and the bulls will push it back up which is exactly what happened today so first let's start off with some support levels uh, the first support level that I want to note is down here. Uh, this level is at um, 16 and a half cents, and that's right where we basically bounced off from this morning. So I'll change that to green for our support. And then the next support level is going to be right here, the previous high, and then another one right up here. So let me get these lines adjusted a little bit. So we have the previous high here, which was at 19 cents, and then the previous high here, which was at 21 cents. And the thing to note about this 21 cents is this was our breakout level. So I'm going to change this to yellow just to show that this was a key level. And today, not only did we break through our breakout level, but we broke through it on the high volume. So just so everybody is aware, we are on breakout alert right now. Um, the chart has broken out. It's broken out on high volume, so uh, this could be the beginning of a nice move here um, from the bulls. Let me get this changed to green. 
and I'm going to leave this one yellow, but do remember this is a support level also, but I'm, I want this yellow because this was our breakout point, so I want to remind everybody that we are now on breakout alert and breakout status after getting above this previous high. Now in terms of resistance levels and price targets, my first short term price target is simply right up here where all these candles were, up here at 30 cents. Um, if you look at the chart, you can see that there is no other resistances now up until you get at 30 cents. So um, it's not you know without the realm of possibilities that the price um, you know pops up here or slowly builds up here after 30 cents this is where the chart really gets nice your next resistance isn't until up here at 40 cents so once again um, you get through 30 cents and get through there with some strength then you have another little 10 cent gap here in key support or excuse me resistance levels so I don't want to get too far ahead of our, myself but I will say short term price target is 30 cents because that's where the next resistance level is and then after that so we'll call this medium term um, price target is at 40 cents because that's where this resistance level is at um, so a lot of upside in this chart looking at the volume um, even before this day there's been some nice liquidity so it's one of these where you get in it's tradable and so forth so it's worth um, looking at and putting on your radars so I'd encourage you to um, check this one out um, especially with the breakout so you know if you're even if you're a momentum player you know this chart uh, should hopefully be appealing to you because we've broken above that 20 cent level and more importantly closed above it so if you have any other questions on uh, KNDR please shoot me a message and I will do my best to help you out if not thanks for listening and add this one to your watch list